The new Hollywood It Girl, Sydney Sweeney, is back with yet another film. I feel like I've reviewed 15 of them in the last two months called Immaculate, a movie that just unceremoniously came out into theaters. I'm not sure anybody knows what it is. Really caught me off guard. I went in with very low expectations because it's just what? Another basic horror film. It's an hour and a half long. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. And guess what, fam? I was pleasantly surprised. Let's talk about it. I can't stress how much it helps going into a movie with the lowest of low expectations. Kind of like I did with Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, but that one didn't work out so well. Immaculate is certainly not an immaculate film. There's plenty of problems with it. I, no movie is perfect at the end of the day. But it was a very easy watch for me, and I thought it did a lot of stuff right. You know what else is right? Subscribing to this channel, Adam Does Movies. I post movie reviews every single week, along with rants, roasts, live streams. There's tons of movie stuff all the time. Would love more eyes on the channel. I would appreciate it. So it's Sydney Sweeney. Right? Right, Sydney? Yep, she's over there, for sure. Thank you. The premise of this film is incredibly simple. Cecilia, played by Sweeney, is heading off to a quaint village-side convent. <laughs> it already sounds chilling to the bone. Where she will answer the call. Another Ghostbusters reference, but also one of religion, of faith. She's going to become a nun, and she's going to work at this facility where she's going to help the sick, heal the wounded, and just devote herself to a life of goodness. A life of caring and undivided devotion, free of sin as best she can. But it's going to be a bit harder than she thought, because it turns out there's a lot of stuff going on at this Italian countryside convent. She's going to start seeing nightmarish visions. People are going to appear in the corners of her room, unannounced, uninvited. And if sisters start to talk back to those in a higher position of power, there's going to be hell to pay. Well, not hell to pay. They're in a convent. It's not going to be good. Outside of a couple decent supporting characters, it's really all on Sydney Sweeney to make this movie work. It rests on the shoulders of this young woman. And her performance here really surprised me. I can't say I've been blown away with the stuff that she's done before. Madam Webb's certainly not going to go on her resume as one of her uh, top echelon performances. And her acting in Anyone But You was borderline insulting. But here, holy crap, she brought it. She absolutely brought it. She won me over. I was freaking sold on Cecilia. This was a good character. And as this movie starts to unfold, unravel, the mysteries revealed... Mind you, they're very obvious mysteries, but mysteries for sure. This film goes nuts in the final act, and I like nuts. That, that might have came out wrong. What I mean is, I like that this went a little bonkers. If you have sensitive ears, here's a forewarning. This movie's got a stupid amount of jump scares. The worst kind of jump scares. Birds hitting windows, people opening doors, and then the sound goes, ah! Like, it's just so loud when it happens. It hurts! It really hurts my fragile eardrums. And the worst part is the jump scares are so unnecessary. Most of the time they hit me and I was annoyed that I got hit with the jump scare. But there's good atmosphere in this film. I found it was haunting enough on its own, again, especially in the last act. It didn't need all the dumb, corny, overplayed, loud noises to make you jump a little, stir a little in your chair. It was doing the job enough just being in the setting. This movie is rated R for violence, for some blood, some gore, some swearing. It's not Saw, but there is some intense moments. There are some gross moments. Uh, overall, though, it's it's not Terrifier, though. There is um, no nudity. <clears throat> so. Disappointing, but there's no nudity. There are a couple, like, shower bathing scenes. But these ladies all put on these plastic, cumbersome, kind of see-through ponchos when they bathe and shower. It's, it's, it's weird. Maybe that's what they do there, though. Kind of kind of seems unnecessary, but uh, we'll push past it. And this movie is less than an hour and a half. I think it's like an hour and 27 minutes, which is just, that's just the chef's kiss for me. It gets in, it gets out, it knows what it wants to say, it knows what it wants to do. It felt like a completed picture without some crazy last minute rewrite or some wild twist or anything to throw the whole thing out of whack. This isn't an A24 movie. It's very pretty much by the books. But again, the final act does get a little bit crazy and I really enjoyed that stuff. 
overall, this was a fine movie. I thought it, uh, I thought it worked. I think it's one that you could throw on the TV at night with the, with the loved one or by yourself and have a good time. Maybe go see it in theaters. I, I don't know. Like, I'm not saying run out and watch this. But if you're looking for a date night movie, you guys like to get scared, this one will probably get the job done. I, I don't know why it's coming out in March, but I guess whatever. It is what it is. There's not much else to see right now. This one was uh, this one was a good surprise. All right, now I want to hear from you. Did you see Immaculate? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you like me? You thought, yeah, it was, it was all right. It was pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Most movies aren't a one out of 10, but if you can hit me with a seven and a half and eight, which is, I guess, where I would probably score this in that range, then that's a win in my book. That's a, that's a personal win for me. All right, let me know. Please like the video and subscribe. Sydney, Sydney, would you? Yeah, Sydney's giving the thumbs up. Subscribe for her, subscribe for me. We, we have fun here. We have fun, yep. Okay, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.